Catching fish and eating them? Totally. It's part of the turtle school teachings. The ones my dad learned from Master Roshi. According to him, you should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. He'd always say that enjoying life is part of one's training, too. Oh, okay. That sounds like good advice. Training you makes me nostalgic. It takes me back to a time when Piccolo trained me when I was a kid. Back then, though, I thought I was training with a monster. He was so ruthless. Seriously, it felt like a year and a half of pure torture. <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly, I was training to help save Earth from Vegeta and the other Saiyan jerk Nappa that came with him. Seriously? Y you had to go through all of that because of my father? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it is pretty strange to think I'm training the son of a guy who once tried to destroy the planet. A long time before he trained me, Piccolo supposedly fought my dad as his mortal enemy. Weird how fate works, isn't it? Yeah, it brings people together, like us. Exactly. And all of those people, my dad, yours, and everyone else, they live on in you now, Trunks. Go on. That's why it's so important that you stay alive. And I'll keep training you to make sure you stay that way. If anyone's gonna bring peace, it's you. You're our last hope. Don't worry. You'll surpass me in no time. Uh, I promise I won't let you down. Good. We'll get stronger together. And we'll make sure our world is safe again. Right, Trunks? Right! Piccolo sacrificed himself to protect me back then. I was too young to understand, but now I know what he felt in that moment. You're the last warrior alive who can do this, Trunks. It's all up to you. I'm afraid you're our last hope. The people of this world are going to count on you to protect them when the time comes, but I believe in you with all of my heart. You can do this, Trunks. A few days later, Trunks and Gohan's training reaches a fever pitch. Get angry. Angrier! No! You're almost there, Trunks. It's not easy. My dad and I struggle to become Super Saiyans too, it's like I said before. Rage triggers the transformation. True rage. Thinking about Piccolo, Krillin, and everyone else dying, I was devastated with grief. It upset me so much that I was overcome with it. It was then that I became a Super Saiyan. You've got Vegeta's Royal Saiyan blood coursing through your veins. You're going to become a Super Saiyan. I know it. Believe in yourself. If you say so. All right. That's enough Super Saiyan training for now. Okay. Come at me with all you've got. Right. You're holding back on me, aren't you? If you can't fight me while I'm at a disadvantage, then you've got no hope of beating the androids. I'm not that injured. Why would you even need to hold back? Understand? But you're getting better. Right. I have to be better than you. Better than the androids. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> You're a lot stronger than you were before. Yeah. If only I could become a Super Saiyan, though. You will. You just need something to help trigger the transformation. The city! It's the androids. 
They finally found their way here. This is it. Ha! Go on. Are you sure you're okay? I'm worried. I might not be able to keep Trunks safe this time. Trunks, stay here, got it? Do not follow me. No, if you're going, then I'm going too. You said it yourself, I'm a lot stronger now. Trunks, you're underestimating how hard this fight'll be. I promise I won't drag you down. I, I want to help you fight them. <sighs> I get it. Fine, Trunks. Let's go. Okay. Trunks, you're humanity's last hope. If both of us die, then there won't be a single warrior left to protect the planet. As the only one left who's capable of ending this nightmare in a few years' time, you have to survive. I'm sorry, Trunks. I might not be able to stop the androids, but if you were around, I'd be distracted. As long as I know you're alive and safe, I can give it my all. And if I do fail, you'll have what it takes to finish the job. Give it a rest, would you, 17? We've already killed almost everyone here. We should head somewhere where tons and tons of people are hiding. It would be way more fun. Why are you in such a rush? Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. If we wipe out all of humanity now, then the fun ends and we've got nothing left to do, right? So Gohan, back for more, huh? No more running away. We're gonna kill you this time. Sure you are. I won't die. Even if you destroy my body. I'll live on in someone who'll become stronger than me. And he will be the one to stop you once and for all. Let's do this, you freaks! Hey, no need to get so worked up, Goku. Don't worry, we'll make this quick. Yeah, we've grown tired of playing with you. Hey, where's the little runt you brought last time? It's none of your business, jerk. Here I go! You're really putting in some work. Go ahead and mock me while you can. You're a real pain in the ass. Sure do go down easy. Where's all the macho hero attitude gone? What a pain in the ass. Say goodbye. 
Done is you. Didn't we tell you we're gonna kill you this time? You two are history. You hear me? You're done! level 51. <laughs> feel awful for having to disappoint you like this, but we've only been fighting at half our full power. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Gohan. more in you than that. <laughs> it's cute you're trying so hard. Guess you don't have it in you to fight back anymore. You gonna give up or what? You should. Gosh, that was a really lame attack. No way. I think it's time you finally died. This is your last chance to stand up to us. Come on, Gohan. If you even can. Even if you beat me, someone stronger will. I think it's time to put him out of his misery, Seventeen.
Sense him. I can't sense his energy. Go on. Go on. Something's not right. Where are you, Go on? Because I'm weak. He was trying to protect me. Is that him? Go on. Go on. No. This can't be real. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Trunks had finally become a Super Saiyan. However, the transformation three years have passed. As the only warrior left to stand against the android menace, Trunks continued his training, hoping to one day avenge Gohan and the... Holding on to hope, end of the android apocalypse. I'm back, Mom. Welcome home, Trunks. You won't believe it. I feel like I'm finally making some real headway. I might actually be as strong as Gohan was back then. Good. You definitely look pretty confident. Right. Well, you can never be too- Oh, that's right. It won't be much longer until the time machine is finished. <laughs> What kind of a response is that? This is a time machine we're talking about. A time machine! I, I know. I'm really impressed with what you've done. Once it's ready to go, you'll be able to head to the past and meet Goku, Gohan's father. You've probably heard of him. And give him his heart medication. With Goku alive and able to fight, something ought to change. Then you can head back to the moment when the androids arrive to help with the fight. Oh, and gather some useful intel for me. I can then use that information to figure out their weaknesses and exploit them here in our time. But no matter how much I travel to the past, our world won't go back to the way it was. All the people we've lost? Probably not. Right. That means my father and Gohan will still be gone. But I should be strong enough to stop the androids now. I shouldn't have to go to the past. Oh, uh, that reminds me, Trunks. There's something I need you to do for me. Really? Something small. Should be a pretty simple thing. Remember how I told you the time machine's almost complete? Well, I actually don't have enough of what I need for a super important 
really critical part. Could you help me out? Sure, I can do that. Where can I find what you need? Mount Pauzu. You know, where Chi-Chi's, uh, Gohan's house is. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact spot where you can find them. It's been a little while since I've seen them, so I... Good. That's my boy. Sure. Oh, I almost forgot. Got it. First, I'd better go talk to Chi Chi. What's that? I think Chi-Chi or the Ox King should know where you can look. Try asking them. Okay. I ended up repairing the training room Vegeta used to use. Now- Really? You yep. The room generates a virtual opponent for you. Vegeta fought Goku the most, so his data's in there. But I've also got- Ve Father and Gohan? Right? It might not be quite like fighting the real people, but it'll at least give you a challenging opponent to hone your skills. Sounds great. Oh, this is it! Oh, take this! 
Get! 